Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's a new video. Um, just want to show you the new server. Well, it's not really a new server, but uh, I migrated over from an old old case to this case. It's a Rosewill RSV L4500. Um, I've had a few videos on it already, just like quick unboxing and quick overview and stuff. Um, now I have uh, my old server inside. The fans are all kicking up, so it's slightly louder uh, than the last video I've taken. Also got my new motherboard, um, Super Micro uh, X9 SEM F. Um, so there it is. I'm gonna try to bring the mic a little close so you can uh, get an idea of uh, the sound of what the server makes. Here's the front. And open this sucker up. Show you the fans in the front. All three are now fired up. There are hard drives behind it. Uh, it's three bays and each bay can hold five drives. And let me close this guy. I'm gonna slide it open. Well, actually, let me run the mic on top just to give you another idea of uh, the sound. And this is towards the back. Alright. And I'm gonna open it up. Try to anyway with one hand. Okay, so as I said before, it's three bays, one, two, three, uh, you could fit five in each bay, so that's 15 bay, or fifteen uh, hard drives in, in, in a total of three bays. Um, let me get you a closer look. I'm running eight two terabyte drives in a RAID 6. Here they are, and they're inside these first two right here. Uh, they are Seagate's um, Barracuda, the, the low powered ones. So, let me see if I can focus it. There you go. So, there's eight there, eight times two terabytes, and a RAID 6. Um, they're all plugged into this. Uh, Adaptech RAID card, it's a 6805 um, SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second Really nice card And then, so that's a RAID 6, that's my main storage um, After formatting and all that, the the A2 terabytes um, usable space is I think around 11 11 terabytes now at this side right here I have three three terabytes uh, I have them set up for a RAID 0 so after that it's a usable of about I think 8 terabytes or so um, or 8.5 something like that anyway uh, that's on a RAID 0, but it's on the motherboard uh, RAID controller. It's an onboard RAID controller. Uh, I believe it's an Intel. Um, so those are what the three SATA cables are. Um, I went with just the RAID 0 because the purpose of those three drives, or that array, is to back up my main array. Um, so my RAID 6 would have to fail and I would still have my RAID 0. Or if the RAID 0 fails, it's okay, I have a RAID 6. So, um, I just needed a, a way to back up my main storage. Um, I originally had a Dell Perk 5i, um, but unfortunately, I recently just found out that it only uh, recognizes up to 2 terabytes, so that won't work with the 3, three terabytes. 
Uh, and then on top of those three terabytes, I have this SSD. It's a SanDisk uh, 120 gig. That's what um, my OS is installed on. So um, pretty fast. Um, in the middle are three more fans. Um, it's where the backplane should be. And if I had a backplane, my wiring would be a little better. And I would get like hot swappable capability, but for this uh, server, I wasn't really too concerned of it. Um, spent a little more time with the wiring, so I can try to get as much airflow uh, as possible. It's kind of difficult with 12 drives, but um, it's doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm running uh, an Intel i3-2100. So the motherboard's great. Um, maybe in the future I'll upgrade to an E3, but so far it's been holding up very well. So I don't, I don't think I will. I don't need uh, the other features that the E3 um, will give me. Um, not yet, anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this motherboard will not um, recognize non-ECC RAM so you have to get ECC unbuffered RAM I was pretty bummed out because I was hoping to use old parts but so I ended up with uh, Kingston 2 times 4 gig um, so that's what I have right now is a total of 8 gigs of RAM um, and then the power supply is an OCZ uh, it's a 500 watt uh, I think it's a mod streamer or something. It's modular. So there it goes. The uh, power consumption is around 160 watts. Uh, temperature, it floats around 34 to 39 degrees Celsius. And let me bring the mic in closer so you can get a sound. Get an idea what the sound is inside if you're worried about building something and gets too loud so I'll shut up now and there you go so it's not that loud uh, compared to the videos I've seen of the Norco the Norco uh, server chassis um, but then again those are like 24 hard drives so but uh, I'm very pleased with both motherboard and uh, server chassis. Uh, the motherboard, as of April 2013, comes with the latest BIOS. So you don't have to worry about uh, it not being compatible with uh, Ivy Bridge processors. Um, but I'm running Sandy Bridge because it's an i3-2100 so I didn't have to worry about it but for those um, curious as of April 2013 it comes with the latest BIOS um, I believe it's like version 2.0 um, this board has the IPMI feature I could have saved like 15 bucks but people swear by it so I ended up just paying the extra um, I've only used it once I I should have saved 15 bucks, but that's me. Um, but it's it's a cool feature. Uh, comes with two LAN ports, uh, both Intel chipsets. I have them set up for teaming. Uh, there's a third LAN port. Um, actually, yeah, the third LAN port, and it's uh, 10 10 100 megabit. But that's um, dedicated to the IPMI. The the dual NICs are gigabit speeds. So. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. I'm trying to do this video as fast as I can so you guys don't get bored. So, um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out my blog, abbyandwin.net. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Later.